Hello, my name is Francis and I'm with Winning Solutions Inc. I'm here today with another free Microsoft Access tutorial. This one is for our contract tracking database template. So let's just jump right in. As with all companies, the first thing we're going to need is a couple employees to get us started. So we don't have any currently, so we're going to come up here to where it says add new employee. And we're going to go ahead and click on that to pull up this form. Once we're here, we're going to enter some dummy information just to get us through uh, <clears throat> this demonstration. Okay, give him a phone number. Okay. <clears throat> and we're going to assign an email uh, just so we can see everything looks when we're done. Okay, now, once you have all this, you can just click Close, and it'll be saved. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click Save and New here, because I want to add a second employee. Okay, give her the same categories of dummy information. They'll be from the same city. Okay, and I'll give her an email. So, like I said, all we have to do is click close and she'll be saved, which we can see if we close and refresh the employees page. Type in Doe, you'll see they're both here. Okay, so let's close this tab. And let's go to contracts because we need some work for them to do. Just like with the employee page, we're going to come up here to the top where we have the Add New Contract button, and we're going to click that, which will pull up this form to create a new contract. So I'm going to call this Microsoft Access Tutorial Video. I'm going to make the owner John Doe. I'm going to make it a Category 1, Normal Priority, and we'll say that it is in progress uh, <clears throat> this project shouldn't take very long, but we got Thanksgiving coming up, so I'm going to assign for it to be done uh, Monday, the 2nd of December. And just give them two days to do it, and I'll put that John will create a tutorial video for our contract tracking database template. Okay, so now we got some details for it. Um, we're going to hit close, and then we're going to close this page and reopen it so we can check and see if it went in. I'm just going to put video to pull it up. Great, so our project is here. I'm going to click up to add task. Okay. Uh, download and familiarize yourself with the database. Okay. Uh, it's going to go on the this project that we just made. Okay, we're going to assign that to John Doe. We're going to say not started, normal priority, and this part of it will be due today. And I'm just going to add a quick description. Okay, so we got a quick description in there. We're just going to click close, close, and then we're going to go over to employees. We're going to search for John, and then we're going to click tasks. As you can see, it's right there. So <clears throat> now John has this first task he knows he needs to get done. Okay, so let's go back to the project. And let's add another task. Create and upload video. Same project, also John Doe, not started. And this will give the same due date as the project overall.
OK, and fill out the description and click close. So just like before, let's go over. Let's make sure that actually assigned to John, which it did. Great, they're both there. All right, now we'll just give something for Jane to do. We'll put it on the same contract, though. Excellent. Add task. Uh, we'll say view video on YouTube and provide feedback. Okay. Uh, we're going to assign that to Jane. And <clears throat> we'll make the due date for that the day after the video is due. Okay. Okay. And we're going to close that, so we'll just go back one more time to the Employee tab. And we're going to pull up Jane this time. We're going to click over to Tasks, and sure enough, there it is. Okay, so <clears throat> once you're employee has a task assigned and they clear it, they can uh, pull it up and they can switch it to be a hundred percent complete and they can close it. All right, so let's look at reports here. We've got completed and deferred contracts. I need to click on it, hold on. I need to click on it and then we can open the report. Okay, so we don't have any contracts completed or deferred yet. So let's look for one we know, open contracts. That'll pull one up. So as you can see, there is our contract. It's currently in progress, okay. And then tasks by assigned to, so you can see which employee is doing what and how far along they are. It's an important part of the process. Okay, so those are just a couple of our reports, but I think you can get an idea from how our report screen works from there. Uh, the last thing I want to show you is the maintain lists section. This is really the bread and butter of providing more detail to your project. So you've got categories. You know, you could say uh, app development. video development, document development. These might not fit whatever you're doing with it, but they're just a couple examples. So now if I went through to make a new project, these would be available in the category section when I click through. Uh, priorities, if you don't like ours, you can change them, you can add more, and the same goes for status. Okay, well this has been <clears throat> the WSI contract tracking database template. I hope you found this tutorial to be both informative and entertaining and I hope you have a good one. Thank you.